Hey, what's up? This is Gizmo, and today we're doing an app review for an update for an Instagram. This is a pretty huge update. This is probably the biggest one in a long while. They redesigned the profile screen, they redesigned the upload screen, they designed things and improved different uh, areas throughout the app. There's infinite scrolling on the photo screen uh, on the feed here, so you could instantly just, you know, flick down and it'll instantly start loading more pictures. So you could just fly through and look at all the pictures you want and then tap the top to go to the back. Um, the profile screen is all new, kind of reminds me a little more Android, it's a little more like boxy. The whole profile has been completely redesigned. Um, I think the picture is a little bigger, so you get to see everything. Um, you have your feed here. They minimized your uh, row one item, so you could look at bigger pictures and scroll through here. Again, here there's infinite scrolling, so again you could just flick through and look at all your pictures. Um, they'll take a little longer to load because they're obviously bigger, but. Um, it's a lot more convenient, it's a lot more aesthetically, you know, pleasing to the eye to just see, you know, bigger pictures that are easier to figure out what they actually are. And that's a hose with water. So, these main screens all pretty much look the same. The upload screen is all new. You could write your caption right here. Baby birds. You can set your location. This automatically sets up add to your photo map, so you could add that. We're going to show you exactly what that is. It's a whole new feature. Um, it might make a lot of people uncomfortable because it's adding, you know, geotagging and mapping things, which we're kind of used to with Facebook and different stuff like that with Foursquare. So sharing's a lot easier. You don't have to actually, you know, flick that little switch thing. You just tap the the networks you want to share to, and they light up. It's a lot cleaner, it's a lot more, you know, just smoother looking. Um, the location I have here is set up to my photo map, but I actually didn't take this picture where I'm uploading it at. So that's something they kind of have to fix that we could possibly set a location or if the geotag information is saved onto the picture, um, they show you a few pictures that you've taken that were geotagged, but it didn't exactly work. It only showed me four pictures that were geotagged. So, I'm, I could name this location and just put it whatever, let's say cleaners, and hit share. So we're going to hit baby birds, share, and it instantly, again, pops up on our feed, and everyone gets to see your beautiful pictures. So over here, back to your profile, um, I'm going to show you this bar here. We're used to having this on the top. Now we can have this single feed here. It's a lot cleaner, simpler. We're going to show you photo maps. With photo maps, what you could do is tag your, basically tag your location and view it all on a map. It's basically really all it is and it kind of organizes it into an album. Say we go to Mexico and we take all our pictures of Mexico and, you know, put them up there. They'll all come boom right there. So you get to see exactly where you know, you're uploading your pictures at. Um, you know, it makes me a little uncomfortable because it's putting your exact location on the map. Here, I don't really care because it's Los Angeles right now, but you can go through and see your pictures and see what you're exactly doing in that area. Um, it adds a cool interactive way to, you know, connect to locations and see where people took pictures, which could be, you know, a good way to connect in, in another social way say, oh, you know, where did you take that picture of the tree? That tree is amazing, blah, blah, blah. And you can look right on the map and see right where they are. And, you know, you could go there and take your own picture. So um, that's pretty much a quick look at the update. Um, it's really been revamped. Uh, again, this popular screen, the ha hashtag area in search is redesigned as well. We can also flag inappropriate comments. This dude with a lot of ice cream. Let's see what comments we have here. So you could do here and reply to that person instantly and it adds the mention on there. It makes things much more convenient rather than holding your finger down. Or again, you could flag it for, you know, if he's cursing or doing hate mail or whatever, or, you know, bullying this poor kid with a lot of ice cream. Anyway. That is a quick look at the new Instagram update. It's very uh, nice to see them improving it in a good way, not taking away certain features and you know destroying what we all know and love with Instagram. And uh, I hope you follow my Instagram. 
It's pretty cool. I take a lot of awesome pictures. Uh, it's definitely better than the last one. Hopefully, you know, they continue to improve it in a good way and, uh, you know, keep Instagram awesome as it is. And that's pretty much it. So follow me on Instagram. You can see my screen name right here above. I am Sakura. Same as my Twitter. Check out my actual photography website at sakurafoto.com and we'll check you soon. Thanks for watching.